Hey, boys, what's happening? Had this Billy game before. I quickly want to go over it with you guys. Just to, if, So if you want to play Billy, if you seriously want to pick up Billy and play him, I trust me, you got to watch this video. Even to players out there who play Billy, you, you straight away, you know my frustration. So quickly going to go over this game that I had before. Q times are kind of bad for killer. Though. It's the morning. So um, anyway, let's just jump straight into it. So I've paused it now. I've got Lethal Pursuit, as you can see. So the time it takes me to find a survivor is like, it's so quick. So I found this uh, Leon straight up. You know, Lethal Pursuit just finished. So there he is. We start the chase early, straight away. Look how much I'm at the I'm at the doorway of a shack. Pretty, much. I've just stepped in. Like I've just stepped forward. He's at the pallet, right? This is pretty much the distance uh, when you where one v one sort of start. Oh, I'm not quite. He, I'm a, I'm a bit closer, but that's a lot of distance, especially uh, for a kill that has to pull up a chainsaw and time that. So I think he's gonna play the shack. Runs off, comes straight back just to comp drop it on me. Fair enough. We chase him down and then he bees. Uh, he makes like an optimal play here, which is fair enough. Which is annoying actually, but a, a negative way of saying it would be he is W King. But this is actually just straight up optimal. Don't play the tile here when he knows he can get more distance to another tile and then play that. There's no need to cut his, cut his W King short to play this um, tile here, this little uh, filler gym which is actually kind of weak in a way when he can just W and get more distance. So as annoying as it is, it's optimal. So we don't play this tile, we ignore. Puts me in a position where, I'll just pause it here. I I won't be able to get him because he has an object in the way. So I have to pick a direction, I have to pick a side. I'm not going to get him either way because he can just hide behind and tuck himself behind the object. You know what I'm saying? But maybe in hindsight, I don't think it would have mattered that much. Maybe I should have gone the other way and prevented him from going to the jungle gym. But in hindsight, I'd, Highly doubt it would have mattered. So pull up. I kind of expected him to just drop this straight away, but I make the biggest mistake. I don't know. I must have... This sounds so weird, but I must have slipped off uh, um my M2. So I go for a flick here, and then I let off M2 for some silly reason. But anyway, it's not the end of the world. We played this jungle gym. He's had one vault of the window so far. I pulled up way early. I'm not going to get it. So I pull it back down. He doesn't get a second vault. He has to just drop the pallet. So not too bad, really. One window vault and then the pallet's dropped. And then right there. So the shack drop, the comp drop of shack, the fact that he went for that vault there and got a medium and couldn't get a fast vault is two. Like when I mean two, I mean like a second insult injury because... I don't mind losing, honestly. I, I seriously don't mind losing. But when I lose to players who... Let's continue. So we've got our third... Okay, this whole map is full of just safe loop after safe loop, okay? And they're so arsed to flick on. That's just what I feel like. We can't... We can't flick this. We can't have Leon on one side and me on the other and then do a back and forth and I flick it. I have to like do a bit of back revving. I have to get sort of close. Go for it here. I assume he's going to drop it, but that's okay that he doesn't. It gives me a chance to flick it. And these are just so arse to flick. I feel like, I, I feel like if you're gonna pull this off, they're gonna make a big mistake, and you gotta be like, just like my man panic drops the pallet, and I'm on the same side of him as him, and then he's like just standing there, like it's fucking, it's it's in a way, it's like insulting. My man just like I don't know, panics and drops the pallet. I'm on the same side of him as him. I could, I guess I could just M1, but and then we know he's here, so we're we're zoning him onto the dead zone side. And then trying to catch him off guard by doing a bit of red light hiding back and forth. And then we get the down. And then we lose a gen. No no big deal, I guess. We pick up. Take him to a hook, obviously. Lose another gen. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, shit. The hook animation completes. We I haven't even zoomed off yet. Another gen pops. That's GG. It was GG a long time ago, but that, that, that's just like the icing on the cake. I look in the corner for some scratch marks. I just think to myself, man, fuck this. And then I go... Um, I think I just give up real quick. Oh, yeah, I give up so quickly and go to this tractor because there's like four different ways you can get air off it or something. So I just, anyway, I, I spend the rest of the game here um, and just mess around. And I get like, I think a, a couple barbecue stacks only because people come and see what I'm doing and get curious and I just take an easy barbecue stack. But that's what you're going to have to ex expect as Billy. Terrible maps, terrible maps to flick on. You got to be... Um, bang on with like your play, your flicks, your movement, your curves, everything. You have to be bang on all the time because one one mistake, it's probably going to hurt so much. Another streamer said this, okay, if you, uh, with Billy, like about Billy, okay? 
Inexperienced players camp pallets and throw pallets early. Experienced players, they won't necessarily do that, but they'll make it so incredibly hard to get a chainsaw down. Like the Leon at that, that jungle gym, you could have, even Shaq, you could have milked that for so long using the windows and made it almost impossible for me to get a chainsaw. A good player will make a Billy have to uh, block out the window, like, you know, like bamboozle it or vault three times and just have the loop closed up or M1 or something. So that's what I'm, It's uh, that's what's the most annoying, I guess, in a way, is the maps and stuff like that. But players like that who aren't necessarily too experienced, but they can just run you long enough to where you, when you get a hook, it's, you know, three gen spot. But I mean, it's, to be 100% fair, I um, let go of Mouse 2 and uh, Mr. Flick. But that flick that I did on the L wall, um, an experienced player, 100%. No, you're going to flick that and you won't get it. I mean, I feel like majority of people know your flick's coming. It's obvious and they'll just, they'll just step out or, you know, make them play. But yeah, it's all good. Just want you guys to know what you're in for and how frustrating Billy can be. This is literally why 90% of the time when I play Billy, I'm playing music on my phone and I'm just like chilling out. I'm seeing, I seem kind of annoyed now, but when I was playing, I was like, oh shit, man. Like, they're just better. But I was playing music, so it wasn't too bad. But anyway, my boys, quick little rant over. Um, while I've got you guys here, though, I want to say a quick, massive thank you for all like the attention, I guess, and like the subs and stuff like that and all the traction on my channel and shit. So I appreciate it. Peace.